Maybe you want quite a fan. Maybe you want quite a fan. I will look on quite a fan. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to tell you so much. Hey, listen. All right, we can start talk. We can't, you know, we can't hold back when we want talk. When we want talk, we have to talk. All right, yesterday, yesterday morning, I had a sound therapy session. This is the first time I ever did that. It was something new to me. Um, the guy's name who did it is, well, he's on Instagram. Um, let me tag him. At I Erks die. Let me see. Let me just tag him. I am not an ambassador of his. I'm not a partner of his or anything like that. But just I'll tell you about my experience. Me have to just tell you. I have to tell you. I laugh of me too, because I laugh after myself. And Wait, oi. Um Lord, let me pin this comment. Seems as if it's pinned. Yes, it is pinned. So yesterday morning, I went and did something called sound therapy for the first time. I saw that account. Um, I think one of my friends, well, my daughter, my daughter is following him. And so are a couple of my associates. So I saw something. I don't want them shared it or sent it to me in box or something. I saw something. I think it might have been Kelly who sent it to me. And looked at his stuff and decided, you know what? Let me check this out. So I followed. And I ended up scheduling a session to go do sound therapy. Um, now, for those, those of you who know me, know that I'm paranoid. I don't go to new spaces alone. Um, I don't go around new people alone. Um, I'm very weary of new spaces. Very, very weary of new spaces. Good night, guys of Father Cartel. And so I, when I was on my way, I was so excited to try this thing, sound therapy, that I didn't think about any of that. I was just moving with my spirit. My intuition said, do this. And right away I acted on it. And he said that I asked if I could do it this week. And he said, this week is full. So weekend is the first time. And I was like, what about this weekend that we're in? And he was like, sure, Saturday or Sunday. And I'm like, well, you know, Sunday morning. So I was scheduled for 10 o'clock Sunday morning. And when I'm driving, I'm, I'm going by myself. I was going by myself. And on the way, it dawned on me that, motherfucker, I am going by myself to a strange man's house. Um, I don't know him. Never met him. I don't know what the man looks like because any of these videos could be him or not. I don't know. It's online. And so I, I wouldn't, I don't recommend that. But I panicked. So I'm slow down. I'll reach a little bit later to apologize for being late for the appointment because I was in a state of complete panic. I called Kelly and I'm like, Kelly, 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 Kelly. Um, it just, me just realized, me I go to a strange man house by myself. Um, I should have asked somebody to follow me. She's like, lady, come out of my ears. <laughs> Which, that no nice, Kelly, that no nice. But anyway, my call, she said, here we do. Send me the location pin. I said, yes, good idea. I send her the location pin. And she said, also, when you reach, send me, when you get there, send me the live location. So that at least if you have a phone for you, you move before me think a session should have done, then me, me can see where I go. So I'm saying a live location. It was my call Sharon, my agent, my call Shelly. I'm um, tell them and send the pin to them. I'm saying live location pin. Now I'm reach up them a panic because I see two vehicles in the yard, both black and dark tint. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, two kidnapper van. I can't do this. Panic, 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 panic. Get through the panic. 
And he, I called him and he was directing me. Um, I'm going to the yard, panic again. And I went on the window and I talked to him from in the car because like, I'm still in the car. So I will run over this man and I will lick down the fence and everything and come out of this yard. So I felt safe as long as me in the vehicle. And he's far from me. And I talked to him. I'm like, kidnapper vans. <laughs> What's up with that? But he never hear me. Um. Anyway, I get you the first panic. And I came, I decided, you know what? Spirit led me here. Spirit led me here. My instinct said it was okay um, to come in the first place. And it was overthinking that brought me to this panic space. So I am going to trust my gut. Give my gut a chance to work. So I came out and I told him that I was in a panicked state. It, it was so disarming though. Um, just hearing him speak was relaxing. Then I came out of the vehicle and me walk gingerly go down <laughs> go towards him. And I told him everything that was going on with the panic and everything. I'm like, yo, you know, I know I don't look like it. Come. I know I don't look like it, but right now, yeah, yeah, the but why pray? Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. You just said, oh you're tired. Oh sure. I saw life come when you get all go on. <laughs> all right, later. So I told him I told him everything that was going on, right? And he said, boy. And he was like, yeah, I understand. I understand. And and he asked him more and sit down for a little bit first. And I sat down and he explained and he asked, um, what is it what made it want for do and why why or whatnot. I don't remember the conversation word for it, but I I told him why what I was doing. I'm, I'm on a quest. I'm on a I am a hippie on a journey to myself. That is it. Shelly and Weeks, I really do need to talk to you. I'm supposed to go pick up the the, the cup. And I know I'm gonna reach up on me out here, so just so in it just I'm just so inept. But anyways, so I tell this man why I made what I do. You know, I look at misdiagnosed existential crisis, whatever the hell is going on with me, and you know, all this stuff. Anyways, him him set up that so I feel comfortable enough for lie down upon the yeah man, me soon shout you, may I come. So me, if, me, me feel comfortable enough to lie down on the pad where I'm set out on the ground. Yeah, man, panic is a hard thing for control. I'm if you tell you, man, me panic your fuck. <laughs> that me will attack you before you do me nothing, you know. You just need to look like you're going to do me something, and me will do you something first in my panic state. So that's why I try hard for stay. You know, sometimes people people try to force you to be around them when really and truly it's in their best interest for you going about your business. People don't understand, you know, they say they deal with a lot of dysfunctions out here when them when them, them take everything personally and, and center themselves in everybody else's experience. Me over here, so I have a full on panic attack. And you over there, so I feel like, me go on, like me better than you coming out chat to you. Like me already panic when I come in, so just left me, me get you it by myself. But anyway, I got to the point where I laid on on the pad. And I took, I, at first, he, he said I could either cover my eyes with the eye patch that he gave me, whatever that is, the thing where we sleep with. And. Or I could close my eyes, but he would like my eyes closed so I could block out the this the, the um this world will keep you in a full state of panic as a woman, yes. And that's what put me there in the first place. So anyway, um he said he wanted me to not to not be distracted like I am now. And and so I shut my eyes. I said I, I would prefer to close my eyes than to put this thing over it. Because I didn't want to put anything on my face. I don't know what's in it. I don't want. So I said, okay, that's fine. And I lie down. And I closed my eyes. And when he was, he started talking to me. And his voice was so soothing, by the way. So anyway, I realized that me hear the breeze blow and rustle the leaf. I'm out my eye look around. So I said, it's not going to work. You, know? you just have to just trust your gut again and cover the eye. Cover the eye. Man start make the sound, do the sounds. Cause it's sound therapy. So everything about it is just what I'm hearing. So it's all oral. I'm listening. I'm focusing on the sound. I may try to still my mind. And my mind would never shut up. Jesus, you think my mouth can't chat? You need to hear my mind. My mind is going a million miles a minute. And shh, after a while, it kind of slowed down a little bit. But that's still never slow. I may listen to the sound. Then. 
and I listen to the sound, I slow down some more, a little mind still a race, thousand miles a minute now, come down from the million. Listen, me drop asleep. <laughs> Pictures of me come down in a full state of panic, and me reach down to the point where me actually drop a blood clot sleep. Me drop asleep. Me shame. All right, me a little bit shame because remember, you know, me, me scared. Me feel weary of the fact that it's a new space that I don't know. Next thing me know, me feel a man on top of my shoulder. Tanya, <laughs> yes? You fell asleep like, fuck. <laughs> and that don't happen. I don't do this. I don't go into strange spaces and fall asleep. I did feel safe. So my, my mind and my body was like, you're good, girl. We got this. Go sleep. Just drop asleep on him. So he wake me up because of, obviously it's sound therapy, so I need to hear it. So I have to wake up anyway. So he wake me up. I drop asleep again. Twice I drop asleep. But I was feeling so comfortable and so relaxed. I got through it. Enjoyed it completely. Um, when it was finished, when the session was finished, and I got up, I got, first of all, I could have been able to get up. Girl, want to go back to sleep. I should have asked him if I can just go sleep. Um, <laughs> I need to move him in a way so he can me sleep at night time. <laughs> so anyway, I fall asleep. I wake up back. I finish the session. I got up. I, it was hard to get up. Not because there was anything wrong with me, but because I felt a compulsion to lie down. And go back to sleep. And it wasn't an altered state or anything. I just was relaxed and liking it. Anyway, me get up and made a, made a leave. And he was like, you don't have to leave right away. You want? Would you like to sit down and come down from this? And I'm like, sure, why not? So I'm going to sit down. And he started to talk to me. Um, asked me a couple questions. Didn't take much from me. You know me can chat. You know, you, you know your girl could talk, right? So we had a conversation and I ended up, I never allow myself to slow down, it's true. But I ended up in that conversation, tell him, telling him about every process that's going on in a minute. Well, I don't know if I got to every process, but every immediate process at that moment. What I'm going on in my head, listening to myself, be stressed about things that I cannot control, what we know better than, listening to myself doing things and saying, you know what, just stop, just left them and not stopping. And myself just be like, no, when I listen to you today, fuck you, bitch. I'm going to, I am disgruntled and I am going to make it known. And I was just telling him all these things. And he was like, yeah, that is typical when you're going through an awakening. Like, okay, they know they know it. <laughs> and anyway, so we had a little chat. Guess what? Me a girl start ball upon the man. The man want to come here. He's so scared to come to. I was just sitting there and just feel myself start the ball. Like, what the? And it wasn't like sub, subby, sad. Um, it was kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. So in so it didn't feel, it didn't feel like I was bawling out a weakness. It felt like I was letting out, oh, yeah, release. Thank you, Ian Zimmers. So, it was a kind of a relief. Me left there, I feel like me lose about 100 pounds, you know. Me blood clot. Suppose me a ball for the man. Till him off, I get up, go get paper towel, care come give me. And me the day I wipe bugo off of my nose and dry up yeah water. I'm like, yeah, my bad man persona is dead. <laughs> but I really don't have a problem with that. Because if it's there and it needs to come out, it's like vomit. You see, anytime you feel like you want vomit, Vomit because your body is trying to get something out of it. When you have diarrhea, stop. Try to stop shit. Your body is trying to get rid of something that you shouldn't have in it. So just go sit down on the toilet and shit. Rehydrate. Go get your salt and your, your pure water. And make your rehydration salts and drink it. For build back your body. But do not try to stop your body from, from expelling what it needs to. So whatever emotion was in me that needed to come out. I let it out on the poor man. He seemed very, very capable of handling it. Um, 
and we ended up talking for a while and then he said um the problem he told me what the problem was that i was at britta said this to me um some of it some of it in many different ways in many different times i ended up mentioning brit and our conversations and i was like i need to discuss this with her we haven't spoken yet but um he said i'm i need to stop resisting um and just go with the flow let go and trust universe and then he said do you believe in god and i'm like i don't not this definition that these people are bandying around i don't do that that guy who sits in a chair and judges and has all of these biases that he imposes on the people that he made and he made you flawed and then you make a mistake and he judges you based on your flaws that he gave you and i'm like i and even if i do find out that somebody exists who's like that i'm not subscribing to that anyway i'm not doing it i'm still gonna opt out because i don't want to be with anybody like that but i do not believe that my source could be like that i refuse to accept that my source what i come from can't be like that because i am pure love so my source could not be such hate because the hate will never produce me hate cannot produce me i am a creature of love and there's no way my God could be a hateful God. So I was like, I don't subscribe to any of that. I, yes, Mr. Malvo, big up my brother. I don't subscribe to that. Any God or creator or source of me have to be pure love with no judgment, just reassurance. And he was like, yes, yes, yes. So we got, we were on the same page with that, like, yeah and yes i do believe in something greater than me which is the sum of all of us i think the source of us the primordial soup whatever you want to call it and if you call it god then more power to you just don't try to mandate that i call it god and define it the way you do because i'm not going to do that so then it was like well you have to let go and trust that thing to catch you and i'm like i can't do that i have no trust i have zero trust i trust nothing I trust no one, not even myself sometimes. And then that's the problem. So that's what I'm working on. Listen to me. <claps> Maddest thing ever. Man, I love it. So I'm go back and get some more stuff. I think the next thing we're going to do is energy healing. Oh my God, this is so cool. Like, why didn't I know about this a long time ago? Why? I should have. So yesterday started off with and, and it, this was such a good timing because saturday i spent saturday knotted so, a, a lot of the early parts of saturday in a knot right in a knot and by the afternoon i went to hang out with my bridge and mikey um and some of the knot got you know got loose got detangled and and by the time i went to bed the knot was gone the knot was gone. Birdie, don't 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 ruin it. Um, I speak from the vocabulary I was brought up on, and God is a word in my vocabulary. When I say "Oh my God," I'm not referring to any of those things that we were talking about. It's just an expression, right? Don't ruin it. So we're having that when we're having an honest discussion, just remain with the honesty, and and keep the space comfortable and friendly. Go do that. So. Coming out of Saturday, wake up Sunday morning, excited for go do this thing and then do this thing. And oh Jesus. You can see the light in my eye green. Oh, oh, I soon come London later on in the year. Yeah, so I am now on a new journey. Oh my fucking God. You have to come with me. So I'm not saying you should go do this. You don't know it's it's cool birdie we good i'm not saying you have to come do this with me but i'm saying as i do this i'm going to share it with you and you see my pin the the therapist i only saw him once in my life and that was um yesterday morning last night was great last was it as good for you as it was for me last night was such a good time i must have climaxed a hundred times thank you you were so good what about oslo you coming back Matt Martin, I'm I'm coming back everywhere eventually. 
All right, so I will tell you the European schedule when I when we finalize it. We're, we're still in planning mode for those things because I pushed back touring this year so that I could first do my live album, Gangsta Blues, the 20th anniversary. My album grew up. It's a big man. And Shana Bling, big of yourself. And then I'm going to tour after, right? Listen to me, let me tell you something. Me that talk about getting sound therapy. Choice FM, UK. I big up Choice FM. Big up on the damn self. I will, of course, come bless you. We're flirt, but I, I, me not, I don't want to show me I do the live album. I don't want to open show me I do the live album. You know, am I answer this? Which answer? If I if I'm my answer this, if it, Karen, you come. Look here, oh no, chat, me could chat after. May I come Canada? May I, but may I go Edmonton? Let me just don't say this, no man, cho. Connecticut. We have me, you know, you're saying, I'm saying, I go on tour. So every wish part, you know, actually want to see me, but you know, promote it. Yes. Um, I see him, nobody have, me, I have no more. Send me a WhatsApp, yes. Let me, me tell you when, so if you want to come, you can start plan for. Listen to me. Sound therapy, that me that chat about. Yesterday when me come there, so you know, man, me come in there well relaxed, you know, me never have need a drink of wine, you know. But I did have it though. Whereas <laughs> last night, me did a drink. And not as much as me usually do. Me drink much less. You live in Atlanta? Oh. All right. You're waiting 20 years for this? Jesus. <laughs> ADHD folk. Don't, don't bully me. Don't bully yeah. I'm not taking no bullying. Listen, I you know why you feel like such a bad man persona gone. It means I'm mean, still bad man in a persona gone, but the person is here. So anyway, as I was saying before I was so rudely distracted, um, I forgot. Yeah, so therapy. <laughs> Sound therapy, right? Bad, wicked, nice. I love it. The sounds were so soothing. And his voice. He was doing some humming, singing thingy. And it just met me. Oh, God, me melt. Suppose you see a girl relax with a broad smile from her face and all these things. All the ball and laughs in them. And discovered a piece of hypocrisy. What was it? Jesus. I... I Came face to face. It's a whole heap of sounds in use. Me no no in It sound like when me lock me I'm thinking transforming our octopus because it sound like he at least have eight tentacles. Yes, man, Gil, me there Jamaica. I did this in Ocherius. Yes, and I do. Here's it. Look at that. What I pinned. That is a therapist IG, and I found him right here on Instagram, and I met him once, which is yesterday when I did the therapy. And it was amazing. Now, I am not saying everybody's experience is going to be the same as mine. I'm just sharing my experience. And if you're looking some, for something like that and want to test the water, that's who he is. I'm just giving information. I'm not giving instructions. This is not an advertisement. I am not a partner. I have, we have nothing to do with each other except that I went and got his service. And I liked it. So may I share it? May I share it? That is it. Right? I, when I have something good, I really like for sure. Like, you know, like when it tastes good food and you want somebody else to like, you want to testify, right? Yo, the food about you have to taste that. They have the best stew pork. That is how I am. I don't need to know you. It doesn't have to be my friend's place. I don't have to have any kind of vested interest in the place. I like to share good things. And I don't want to be and an ambassador of any kind because that will influence my I'm, I don't hold myself above um above be, becoming falling prey to influence so I don't want to be I don't I don't I'm not knocking anybody else who does it just for the record but I don't like to to be paid to endorse things so if you hear me I say this I'm not benefiting in a way I literally have the service and like it and think if you want to have that service, you might benefit from knowing that this person does this and I liked it. If you trust my judgment, right? If you trust my judgment, 
if you think I'm being honest with you, I know that I'm being honest with you, but you know, must know. So if you trust your judgment, you, you, my judgment and your gut feeling tells you, tells you that this is good, then, then it's right for you. And God, me love you though. Jesus. Oh my God. Brazil loves it's a pity and I love Brazil. So the soon come. Listen, it was so amazing that me can't, me couldn't, first of all, me call Kelly from me come out of the place and I drive out, me have to call Kelly. Like, Kelly, bad, like, she's like, so you, I know you say you drive, come. So you can't tell me when you reach. You see me look up in the rough and coarse, you see, man. Oh, God. I mean, never used to notice that she's so coarse because I think she is like me. But only say, I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> I saw me turn. I really saw me see it. Jesus, it sounds bad when we hear it back. Oh, I discovered a piece of hypocrisy in myself. So there's this book that I've been, I've been insisting that everybody get a copy of and read. Who moved my cheese? Yes, Britta. So she said, one time when me said to, when me said to her, Jesus Christ, look up it, you can chat him, man. You don't have to fear yourself a chat. No, I am not. All right. Just you, shut up your mouth. You, tell, oh, you can chat so much here. I wonder where I got that from. <laughs> when he lick a bit more, I'm beating me. See? I didn't. I didn't want to be there. Not for that. I just laugh like, you're right. My chat not for you. But I get it from my mother too. Well, yesterday we were talking. Uh, we were talking and then this came up. Britt, you remember comfort? The comfortable place in this high get nailed by Brian, by Ryan. You remember the Chrissy Jones? You remember the, this um the comfort space that the the rat didn't want to leave. The rat didn't want to leave the comfort the comfortable space because the comfort zone because that was what he he knew it was it was familiar. He didn't want to leave it, right? He didn't go out in search of new cheese because he wanted new cheese to come to him in his old space. And then I heard this man telling me that I'm doing something similar. He didn't hear me have this conversation at all. But he told me that I was doing the, that thing. And I'm like, Mr. Laugh. I had to be like, oh my God. This is um, Who Moved My Cheese is the book. Who Moved My Cheese. Oh, Jesus. He said, I was afraid to move um, because I was holding on to my comfort zone and fa the familiarity and comfort of where I am. And uh, so, so I'm paraphrasing and I'm getting it wrong, but you get the idea, right? Jesus. And I had to laugh because I'm like, oh my God, I feel like such a hypocrite. I'm here cursing you guys every night saying, change, 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 embrace change, embrace change. And look at me. Such a fucking hypocrite. But anyway, I get it. So if it felt like I was being harsh with you. Yeah, Dr. Spencer Johnson, who moved my cheese. If it felt like I was being harsh, then... I can't call it a misinterpretation because if it, it felt harsh to you, then it was harsh because only your feelings can decide how something feels. But that wasn't the intention. However, in my opinion, outcome trumps intent. So it doesn't matter what I intended. If it, if it was harsh, it was harsh. And uh, for that, I apologize. Um, I don't take back pushing you to explore this though because if i discover an area in my life where i need to also apply this i'm going to apply it but i'm no less convinced that you need for your own good and i shouldn't use the word need because you don't need it would be in your best interest if you are looking to grow if you are looking to grow to develop to evolve consciously then it is in your best interest this is along your path simple simple thing so, 
I apologize for any discomfort that you might have felt when I push and push and push and push. But believe me, may I push with love. I'm sorry, may I stop pushing? May I try hard to stop pushing? Help me. I need help. Help me, nigga. <laughs> oh my God. But you know, coming face to face with your own hypocrisy can be a painful thing the first time. The first times when I saw it, I bawled. I tell you, you know, the first time I look for myself and see me, I bawled for days. Luckily, me have the, me have the flexibility for go curl up in my bed if me have no, if me have no um, no contractual obligation. If me have flexible things, so me can just say call and say tomorrow instead, next week, next week. I'm gonna go lie down in my bed and hug up me and ball, and ball and ball and ball and ball and ball because yeah, that could never be me doing that to me. Oh shit. Unfuck Yourself really helped me to stop overthinking. Unfuck Yourself is such an amazing book. My love it. Unfuck Yourself. Let me, let me see if I can find that real quick. What did I do with it? Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Mm-hmm. I love it. Unfuck Yourself is a good book. It is a good book. Unfuck Yourself. Get Out of Your Head and Into Your Life by Gary John Bishop. Good book, you know? Yeah. So when somebody said to you, say, don't fuck yourself. It's not a bad thing, they might tell you. You won't be mad. You should say, Hmm, you're right. Let me not fuck myself. <laughs> and in fact, for all the times I have fucked myself, let me unfuck myself. Mm. Like I look at a, a, a few guys and be like, I wish I could go back and unfuck you. Don't we all wish? But my buck up on my piece of hypocrisy, boy. I look for me and I'll be like, go read who move on but fuck you, go read who move my cheese. And then having to hold up the mirror and say it again, fuck you. Go read who moved my cheese. Isn't that nice? I love, love it. And I did therapy after I read it. Yes, Shana Blinga. Look how we out Let me tell you something about we. My, me, and my, me and my fellow tribers, we are committed to improvement. And that's our bind with together. That is the glue. If we don't talk for three years, we are still on the same journey. Headed to the same blood clot destination, which is self. Because we... I go improve. If we not go do nothing else, we are go improve. And that's all we need for do on our, our little journey where we depend. on. Yes? Oh, gosh. It's so exhilarating. Can you imagine? Bucking up on a piece of my hypocrisy and feeling so fucking excited. Yes, because now that I've seen it, I know that it's there. I can get rid of it. Acknowledgement is the first step to a solution. So, having seen that, you girl at work. Remember me told you when I come back, brand new art girl. Not for no kind of art girl. Jonas Marcher, big up your damn self. Step five. What did step one, two, three, four again? <laughs> oh, step five. You know. Fool. I don't know. I don't want to take me serious. You, you can't take somebody serious with a fool. The other day, me and my daughter drive. And I don't know what kind of fuck me did I say. But me did, a, me did a kind of troll her a little bit. Because at first she thought I was being very serious. And me did me have my serious face on. And me did a stick to my script. And me nine a budge. And then she look around for me. And me know it clicked to her. Say, you know I fuck with money I chat. And then she turned around and be like, I can't believe me, so afraid of you. <laughs> That made me laugh for about a good five minutes. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I, I needed that though. I was a single parent raising a little rambunctious little child and having some other kids that I was influencing. Actually, I was raising two of them and co raising more of them. But it have to be a bad man. Oh, Jesus. But it worked for the most part. Then grow up. 
them alive, when them have all of them limbs intact, and them a live their life. Well, for them terms, for them way. And that was my only intention. I don't have no particular desire of anybody else. I don't have any ambitions that you need to fulfill for me. I don't I don't overreach into people's life. Um I have no requirements, no prerequisites set, no prerequisite met. I mean I need that. Because me so busy I try to figure me out. You know why you for over the saw add things to you. What happened to you was a good book for me. Change how I view things. Men I know the one that what happened to you. All right, when you had message me, send me that too. Um yeah, if you Yanni, Yanzi, Yannick, send me one message with your number just for be sure. In case I forgot when I come off of the live and me not have your number in another phone, just send me just to be sure when you come off. Don't forget, please, me a bigger. And and also send me the title of that book. Because I have a long list of books I need to forget, you know, but I go book shopping outside. Um, I go book shopping outside because Jamaica is kind of weird. Even though Jamaicans are very varied and every kind of person live in Jamaica, if you look at spaces like bookshops, you have to go on a specialist bookshop to go find certain things. And one little space where some people will go on special have for themselves over one corner or one part. The regular bookshop, them, don't carry certain things because it go against most likely the, the bookshop belong to one Christian person or organization or certain things, they just never care because they don't feel, feel like it fit within the, 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 the parameters of being a good Christian. But you don't be surprised at how many bad things get done under the auspices of being a good Christian. At least you would make her surprised, you know. Contrast causes you, you to ask. Step two, source answers. Step three, get up to speed with a new version of you. Step four, get really good at step three. Step five, contrast happens, but you know what it means. Somebody at step five. Oi, oi. Me say, thank you for that one, the popcorn, because man, me say, oi, oi, every minute. Me look for myself like, oi, oi. <laughs> it was so good, though, catching it. Like, these days, there's always Amazon. No, me not like the, me, me not go out of one physical book to Jamaica. Me not really like the soft books. Me like one, more one hard book, me like hard things. So, you know how you feel when you do something fucked up or when you do something will go against your own development or you, what happened to you by Dr. Bruce Perry is really good. That's what Yan, Yannick said. Me want to know that one day, but you never tell me about it before. Um, when, when you get to the point where you can identify something that is, that, that goes against, um, that goes against your, in, your intended path, or it, or it goes outside of the path to your intended um, destination. Anything will take you off track. And when, if, if you lift your foot and put it one step off track and you can see it immediately, Jesus, that's the space where more are living up permanently. So we can actually see it. Peter, Mr. Bannon, what go on? When 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 me when me catch it, I don't always catch it, but when I catch it immediately, me feel so good now. Like yes, this saved me a lot of time because I don't want to walk two miles off of my my path, for then realize oh shit, me up on the wrong path. For then double back, for then go. It's so good when you can catch it immediately, so that you don't waste your time and your effort. Isn't that nice? And that is all it is. Like sometimes we resist, we resist. Um, because we're in an ego and we feel like it's a, it's a judgment or condemnation for we for, for, by ourselves even for say they go the wrong way because it's so just that we do something bad or we make a mistake or we're stupid and so we some of us like men do that a lot men are like for ask for directions some man will drive 20 miles down the road by the wrong way I'll be like no man we can't find it what you need for find it? It not lost. Just ask somebody when no way there. Are you lost? I know it. Just ask somebody, no brother. Me not, me not need for, me not tell us I'm not need for ask somebody. And then five hours later, <laughs> you have to be like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me take my one future in a man. Excuse me, miss. 
Do you know where I can find signs? Oh, you have to turn back. Oh, Lord, dear, you're out of you. You're far off course, man. You have to turn back to exactly where you told this motherfucker that he made the wrong turn. And he said, nope, he knows the place. So you do that with yourself. We do that with yourself. A lot. I used to do it a lot, a lot. So convinced that I know where I'm going. So if me even make one wrong turn, we can create one detour back to the right. Thing. You just get more lost and more lost and more fucking lost. Turn back. He not kill you. Turn back to the last intersection and then continue on the right path. So this is what happened yesterday. When, but this I didn't catch that myself yesterday. Made it act, act, actually this fellow with my pin who was doing the sound therapy who actually articulated it and when as soon as he said it i was like oh my god me just start laugh yeah what am i gonna do me just have a laugh because look on me over here so well gone down the wrong road i may run so we to get a sprint me a sprinter down the wrong road mm. me just sprint come back up <laughs> like yeah me say i'm gonna tell him so i have to go share it and i invited him to join me on a live one day because but I like him to explain why I do. Um, so even if you're not here and you're not going to him, um, it's still something that you can access. He's not the only person who does it. Uh, you can still access where you are. And if you're here in Jamaica and you want, yeah, and he's in Ocherius, but he travels, so he can come to you. He can come to you. Then go go and go go check. Say, girl, is that smart when I really like let people in our personal space? You know, somebody decides to go to him. No, check out the stupidity of that. If he came into my personal space, I could control my space. But I feel like my space would have been defiled by the presence of something strange. So I don't like strange things coming into my space. I like to keep my space devoid of. I don't know how long it was in a bit. I should have, what I should have do, done, I should have timed it. But I did remember I angst, 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 nuts. I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about being safe and I couldn't guarantee myself my safety. So I had to just trust my gut feeling. And all this time, there was no time in my mind. So I know how long it lasts. I don't think it could have been an hour. I think it would have been less than an hour. Tell Kelly to look at the calls before and after. Oh, I could look at them. Oh, why didn't I think of that? I <laughs> can look on the last call before. And then the, the, the first call after. Because as me left me call, you know, you know, as me left me call. It's like, shh, my boss out of hell. I, it wasn't hell. It was Jesus. That was heaven. And we talked for a while. So I will have to estimate also the length of the conversation. Which probably, I, I'm, I can't do so well. About 45 minutes. Yeah. About 45 minutes. Reggae run-ins. Yo, my friend, if that's you, because I don't know who operates that account. Why didn't I think for you to look at your, your phone? Because me and you have the same kind of feather brain. <laughs> You'll be in Ochi next month. Oh, if you want to go see him, he's in Ochi. I think Tanto Ari, ah, I see Tanto are you. Tanto Ari, big up yourself. Listen, guys. Made it enjoy it. And you know, so when me enjoy it, me go share. So, this one I talk about for you who just joined is sound therapy. Sound therapy. And he was using all kinds of all kinds of instruments, making the sounds and stuff that I couldn't recognize. Um, but all of the sounds were so soothing. Jacqueline Campbell, me said, Shelly, now tell us I'm going ball upon strange man. Tanto, love you, love you, love you. Me I come your way too. Me I come your way. Remember, say, me I come your way sitting. Me say, the sound that made so soothing me drop asleep. Me can, can you imagine someone walk into this man's place? Scared shitless like, oh my God, me in a new place, me in a new place. Mad sound, big up. And then go from being scared shitless that I'm in a new space with a stranger. Lord, me say, me love you too, Jackie. By the way, sexy JCF, that, that I'm a classmate from high school, you know. Listen, Jackie. You have to make Shelly tell you. Because I call Shelly, I say, no, hey, remember, you know, I say, location pin. 
I send current location and I send um, live location because I say any of them move, you know. That I'm a fitness I send it still, you know, because she know. I don't, I don't think she really, she never think about, you know, she just said say that for assure me. Yeah, frost man, really big up. Tall boss, the legend, my, my bridget. Listen, you see when me send the, the pin, Kelly now use that do nothing, you know. Call you in the morning, I will. What time? There's a Brazilian guy who records the sound of the Amazon. Y'all love those sounds. Mountain streams. Ooh, bubbling brook. I me say bubbling brook. I love it. Um, the sound of rain. The sound of the ocean. The sound of wind. Gentle breeze. Not storm. Trees. The leaves rustling in the breeze. Oh, God. All of them sound like just... Yeah, call out my name. I love it. I really do love nature. Ricky True English, if you look in my bio, you will see a contact. Use it, please. Thank you. May I tell you, it's wicked, wicked. 6.30 my time, you're going to be... 6.30 your time, is it 6.30 my time also? Shana, Florida and Jamaica, they're on the same time now. Guys, if anyone don't know, tell me, because I can't look while I do this. Um, I may go forget. I need to set one alarm. Florida, uh, 6.30 Florida time. All right, may I call you. Them the time they y'all walk, walk go work, right? All right, may I call you. Listen to me. Me left from being there on the same time, Gail Moody. All right, thank you. So 6.30 in the morning then. Yeah, maybe I wake up about an hour before that hour, hour and a half. It's 9.56 now. No. So no one hour ahead. Because at 8.50 at now. So that means, say, 6.30 you're... What? 6.30 your time, I go be 5.30, man. What, no, what may I say what so far? I wake up from about 4 o'clock, 4.30. May I go wake up. The sound of burning logs and waterfall. Hold on. Waterfalls I love. Burning logs I have never listened to. Ooh. May I go call a Brit. I'll be up, 5.30. Yeah, I'll be up. You know my time them there anyway, man. Please, sometimes I wake up at 3 o'clock. If me go sleep early, Three o'clock, me up with me, I bright, I look around like, what am I do? And it never crossed my mind. Mm, get rid of your clutter. Never. <laughs> You'll be up at four, my time. All right. Then it's at eight. So, the sounds were nice. The cracking, cracking sound of the logs. Yeah, I will, I will check that out. Me never check that. Me never check that before. Yeah, mad sound. Me realize oh, one hour. They, you're one hour ahead um, of me. Me too, like, I'm here as my sisters. They wait me up. Me don't know what I'm going, Shana. Me just get up on my bright eyed and bushy tail and ready for take on the day. Oh, except the fucking day not start yet. So me out there at them. But it worked good. When me, when me in the, when me in the phase, in our gardening phase, it worked wonders for the plants them. Right you now we have skeleton and carrot out of the door. I go on good, you know, have a few beets run at the back and then look so beetroot. I want good flowers, you know. Plus, you get something to eat. We're healthy for you. I may have some pepper. But may I try with one what, with something different when it done when it, if it work out, me telling about it. My body sleeping, but my damn mind, man, up very early. Jesus. That is true. More while my body not really want to get up, you know. So when my, my, my wake, all right, my mind, well, my act, my wake, but my body, out. So me just lie down and me watch like a TV or sitting in my watch. Me like watch Gaia. I don't know if you guys know about Gaia, that, that streaming network where them do mostly like documentaries, docufilm stuff. It's, it's more like an information source than an entertainment source, but information is very entertaining to me. If you like that kind of thing. Um, you can find things for aliens and not, not woo-woo, not woo-woo things. I mean, like real things. So it would be from, from alphabet people, like the people from the CIA and FBI and them, the kind of sitting there, um, NASA and them talk about declassified. So when stuff become declassified, they make documentaries for them and stuff. Like, oh God. You can get lost in it. And also um, developmental things. So like one of my favorite, 
I think not one of that is my favorite docu film of document documentary series off of Gaia is Rewired by a doctor named Joe Dispenza, who had actually met in an accident and was I got a prognosis of becoming a quadriplegic. A quadru oh me no me no watch it. Me no watch it fiction one. Me watch a real alien them. I don't know if Resident Evil is fiction. It sounds like fiction, fiction. I need it on Netflix, so I take it as fiction. But Gaia stuff them. So them tell this man, say, I'm be a quadriplegic. And he refused to accept that the prognosis. So he go out and go start work on himself. And he was picturing him, him, him vision, him, him spine, and him pictured the discs that go back into place and his spine and realign itself. And what he was picturing happened. Because your mind control your body. Ah, my sleep habits are so damn bad. I need a therapist. Oh, what luck. We know a lot of therapists. So, and that we just talked about, you know, there are so many different kinds of therapy you now. Like the old, there's an explosion of healing going on. Guys, what's the name of this? This, then, oh yeah, the name of the docuseries series is Rewired. And it is by a doctor named Joe Dispenza. Dispenza is D-I-S-P-E-N-Z-A. -E Re Rewired by Joe Dispenza. You can just look up that. I don't know if it's anywhere else. I watch it on Gaia. But it could be other places. I don't know that it's there exclusively. But may I tell us, say, one blood clot. You watch it, man. Just watch it. The man opened my eye to a whole different way of thinking. Um, especially when we talk about things like, like placebo effect and suggesting that we are the placebo, like our bodies, our minds are the, we are the placebo. And the reason why the biggest reason, it seems as if the biggest reason why medicines work, hold on, I want me not conflate two different productions because now I'm not quite sure if a Joe Dispenza thing this come from, but however, him, him, him talk about similar things and he really is talking about a placebo effect because you might talk about using your mind for heal your body and it works um i can't say i have come back from being a quadriplegic nothing that big but small things i have been noticing it may i talk to my body i need to respond favorably amazing shit like you might you'll be mind fucked so what did i say yeah the placebo is an effect apparently how medicine mostly works which has been researched, um, is that when you, when you, you're about to take medicine. Oh, it's all over YouTube. I've never seen it on YouTube. See that? Nice for talk to each other. So now me know. So it's on YouTube. But is it, is the entire series on YouTube? Like you can watch from episode one all the way to the end? Or is it like bits on YouTube? So that you have to like, like a, 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 a jigsaw puzzle put it together. I mean, like watching, me, me, me fall asleep or watching. Um, but a, a, apparently, your body, how your mind works is that when you take medicine, when you take medicine, your mind, your, your, your mind signals to the, the, the relevant departments in your body that, oh, you're going to be healed now. And so, they are activated into production. We're like, oh, we're going to heal. All right, cool. So many, that means we need to make one, one remote for the fan, one who moves my cheese book, we need to make. And they just start producing. So this is what happens. By the time the medicine goes inside of you, your body has already gone into production. And you credit all of your healing to the medicine, but really and truly, your mind just needs to believe that you're going to heal. And this is why them say belief kill and belief cure. Because it's a real thing. It's not a parable. It's not not one African myth where we are saying, what we just passed on. It's actual shit. And the most mind-blowing thing. Um, and it's not to discredit all of medicine. Medicine has its use, but some things it's not useful for. Um, for healing some things. Some of the time, the, the, the side effects by far surpass the original illness where did I take the medicine find in the first place, which makes it not so feasible. Um, if it costs you more than it gain you, you understand the concept here when it comes to money. Why we can't understand it when it comes to everybody? 
if you lose more than you stand for gain, that's not a, a profitable venture. But when a money, why don't you care about money more than anybody? Just don't make no sense to me. Like y'all's animals is so anyways. I not judge you, I just uh, marvel at the fact that you care more about material things than yourself. Which is the biggest, most valuable thing you own. You own nothing more valuable than you. However, it's your life, your journey, your trip. This is your adventure. Have it your way. Because that's how we were taught to think. But Gail Moody... The way them teach you to think, you can change that. When somebody, if somebody come now and try to teach you, say 2 plus 2 equal 10, you're going to be like, no, fuck you. No. This convo later, I'm three days post-surgery. What? You ever got to talk to me? No, man, you know late. It's never late. Never late. Because now you're going to do it for your recovery. I just joined, do you know any natural remedies for epilepsy? I don't. I don't, but I know people who um, help you to achieve the best state that your body can be in, and then do it naturally. So if you go to them and make it, what, what, what most natural practitioners say is that they don't heal a sickness, they guide you to putting your body in its most productive state so that it could produce your health. Because that's what your body naturally does. Me just a paraphrase, but basically that's it, right? Your body heals itself. That's what it's built to do. Amazing fucking machine. You have you own no piece of machinery that is as efficient as your own body. Even when your body isn't working at full capacity, it is still the most efficient machine known to man. Without exposure and wanting to know different things, you will get caught up into how you were programmed. Um, don't be hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. The pills I take for it fuck me up. Oh. Guide you through home yesterday. I love it. Jeez. That's what I wanted to stay all along. No. The pussy all day yesterday and they used to drown me out when I try to have the real conversation. Just forgive the bad word. That's what I talk. But you remember when they used to join me out when I try to talk real shit and then come in and talk foolishness about we got them brassness there. Memories, memories. Anyway, share all of the information we have. I may post them. Um, and not because we're the source of information, but because we seem to gather here more than we gather anywhere else. But we need to establish some more gathering spots. So in the event I can't um, come on, somebody else could. I can't. And I don't want to be the holder of space. Um, I am I am one facilitator, but all of we are trying to do this together. We we need to establish more spaces. It's not a club. It's not nothing for join. You're not paying a dues. You there's no obligation. Just make we have more sources. Come in and know everything. I uno still tell me things. I uno share things with me. I may find things through uno. That means I uno can do it without me too. So we can establish some kind of a net to catch each other, so we don't fall too far. And if even if we do fall, we have people catch and pull up back. Because that's what we do. The political journey. And for as far as we're going to see him way. Hmm? For as far as I love the line of conversation. Oh, God, yes. Oh, God, yes. You don't know this. I get me excited. Yours is the same. I love your song so much. Oh, thank you, Beach Warrior. I appreciate it. And so, I was thinking, mm, since I, I've got to the point where um, no, I feel, I've heard that weed is good for it, but I'm not in a position to try it. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe you can try CBD, what is it? CBD oil, oil from the weed gives you the effects without the, gives you the, um, the health benefits without the mind altering effects, I guess. Nice you're chatting with us about my favorite topic. Ah, well, welcome. I wanted to do this all along, but we were distracted by so many fuckers. I was so distracted. Jesus. I'm focused, man. Kind of. Still distracted with different things. Anyway. Um, what was I talking about? Listen, make I'm and it's not that my memory going, you know. I've tried to focus on so many things at once. I need to still my friggin' mind. We were talking about establishing more spaces and set 
building a bigger net so we can catch each other when we fall and we did that what what was next after that i don't remember 